In this video, we're going to talk about the body bias for the NMOS and the PMOS devices. So I'm going to draw the symbol for a generic transistor and also the cross section for the NMOS device. Now remember the cross section is if you were to cut the device, turn it on its side and look at it, that would be the cross section. So this is the silicon that it lives in. This is the N plus heavily doped source and drain regions. Here's the P minus body of the device. You can call this the body, um, or it's also commonly referred to as the well. Um, this is the silicon dioxide dielectric, and then this is the thick polysilicon gate. Um, I am gonna label the gate, but that's the only thing I'm gonna label for right now. Okay, so now for the PMOS transistor, um, it's complementary to the NMOS device, right? That's why it's called co complementary MOS or CMOS. So here's our generic symbol for the MOS device and let's draw the PMOS cross-section. So for the PMOS device, this lives in an N minus well or, or N minus body, so with lightly doped N material, and it has P plus source and drain regions right here, so heavily doped P material. Here's our thin silicon dioxide dielectric and our thick polysilicon gate. So commonly what you'll see is you'll see the MOS devices with three terminals, so the gate, the drain, and the source, but also some, um, you will see it realistically, it should be a four terminal device. And the fourth terminal is the body of the device. And that's this, this region right here. So you can call, it's often called B for body. And we need to bias this and we need to think about how we would bias it. So, well, why do we care? Why, why do we even care to know how to, how to bias the body of the device? Well, the reason that we care is that we want to control where the current is flowing in this device based on the voltages we apply at the terminals. And so let's look at this region right here, for example, that I'm going to circle in yellow. This region right here is a PN junction. Okay, so we can draw this like a diode. So here's our diode. So this is the P minus side and here's the N plus side. So this is a diode. And you can think about what would happen if we were to forward bias this diode, meaning if we biased the P minus body with a positive voltage with respect to this N plus contact. So we have current that would flow in this direction, right? So we'd have current flowing from the body of the device to whatever terminal this is. But that's not what we want. If we turn this device on, we want current flowing between the source and the drain, and that's it. We don't want current flowing through the gate. That means our device is busted, and we don't want current flowing out the back of the device. So what we need to do is we need to bias the body, meaning we need to apply a voltage to the body that makes it. So the, this PN junction here and this PN junction right here are reverse biased, meaning that there's not going to be current that's flowing in this direction from P, P minus to N plus. So how do we do that? Well, if there's any positive voltage on this side of the diode, we're going to have current flow unless this side is higher. So we could, let's try maybe biasing this P minus side at ground. Well, the only way that we would get current flowing in this direction is if this N plus side went below ground, which for CMOS, typically the supplies are ground and VDD. So ground and some positive voltage. So this it's for the most part, this, this side should never go below ground, right? So if I bias the body at ground, that means these two diodes right here will always be reverse biased, and I'm not going to have current sneaking out through the body of the device. So let's mark that here. And now let's think about the next thing. The next thing is this particular device that I just drew right here is bidirectional, meaning which way the current flows in this device depends on the voltages that I apply. So if I were to apply, say, a positive voltage here, say I applied like five volts here and my gate was on and I applied zero volts here, I'd have current going in this direction. Okay, so how do I know which side is the source and which side is the drain of the device? Well, I know which side is the source and drain based on which side is biased lower or higher. So if I have a lower voltage applied here, that means current's going to go in this direction. And we've um, we've said the ID goes from plus to minus. So this means this is the drain and this is the source terminal. So if I were to apply that to this um, cross section, I would say, okay, this is my source. 
this is my drain. So a safe thing to do is you're always going to apply a body bias that's the lowest potential in the circuit to the body of the NMOS device. Another thing that you can do is you can actually just tie or connect the body of the device to the source just like this. And so if you see a three terminal um, NMOS device, its body is probably tied to its source and its source is at the lowest potential of the circuit. That device is not bidirectional because the source is always going to be at the lowest potential and it's tied to the body. All right, so now let's chat about the PMOS device. Well, what's happening here? So let's look at one of these uh, one of these sides that's, that looks like a diode. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one we grab. And now I have this situation, right? So I've got a P plus here, and I've got N minus. Now, the first thing we can do is we can just say, okay, well, well, let's let's bias the body of the PMOS device the exact same way we did for the NMOS device and just see what happens out of curiosity. Well, if we do that, the body is going to be at ground right here, okay? And so any potential that we apply to this P plus side, so to this node right here, any any potential between ground and VDD could get some current flowing through here. So that's not what we want. We do not want current flowing there. So ground is not the right way to go. So we need to bias it with something else. So let's try the opposite. We're gonna apply a bias to this node that is the highest potential in the circuit, VDD. Now that means that this node can be anything, any voltage that we have. It can be zero all the way up to the supply voltage, and we're not going to get current flowing in this direction, which is good. This is what we want. So for the case of the PMOS transistor, we're going to bias the body at VDD. Okay, so this is going to be at VDD. Now let's talk about the source and the drain nodes of this. Which side is the source and which side is the drain? Now... Um, again, we've defined the current to be flowing like this. We've defined the current to say, okay, it goes from the positive potential to the negative potential. And we know that for the PMOS device, the current is opposite. So this is my source and this is my drain. Okay, so that's how you know how to bias the body of the devices. And again, just like the NMOS device, you could actually just tie the source of the PMOS device to the body of the device and it would work just fine because now your body is biased at the top, the highest potential in the circuit. You're not gonna have current flowing where you don't want it to flow, and now we're gonna get our devices working the way we want them to.